In this tutorial, we will learn to use SPI communication module of TM4C123 microcontroller. In this video, we will see an example of SPI communication between TM4C123 Tiva Launchpad and Arduino. TM4C123 microcontroller contains four SPI modules. Each module can be configured in master or slave mode, which can communicate with other devices over SPI interface. Now let's see the example code of TM4C123. This example code demonstrates the use of the SPI1 module of TM4C123 microcontroller in master mode. GPIO pins RD0, RD2, RD3 are used as clock, data receiver and data transmitter pins for SPI1 module. This function initializes and configures SPI1 module in master mode. The operating frequency of SPI1 module is configured at 4 MHz clock. In addition, 8-bit data size, and mode 0 of SPI frame format are also selected. Moreover, the clock polarity and phase selected with zero values. For SPI master and slave devices to communicate with each other, they should have common parameters, such as clock frequency, clock polarity, and clock phase. In this TM4C123 SPI code, we configure SPI1 as a master, an operating frequency of 4 MHz, with clock polarity, and clock phase equal to zero. The reason we have chosen 4 MHz frequency, and both clock polarity and phase zero. Because we want to communicate between TM4C123 Tiva Launchpad and Arduino. The default parameters settings for Arduino SPI module are, clock polarity equals zero, phase equals zero, clock frequency equals 4 MHz. Therefore, it makes parameters for both master and slave devices common. Inside the while loop, TM4C123 microcontroller transmits character, A, and waits for one second. After that, it transmits character, B, and waits again for one second. It keeps repeating this pattern. Now let's see how a demo example of SPI communication between TM4C123 and Arduino. To see the demonstration of the above code, we will perform SPI communication with TM4C123 Tiva Launchpad and Arduino. Tiva Launchpad will be configured as a master device, and Arduino as a slave device. In this example code of Arduino, Arduino acts as a slave device. Whenever data becomes available on the receive SPI pin of Arduino, Arduino reads this data, and saves the data inside a receive slave variable. Inside the loop function, this code checks if data is received by Arduino on the SPI receive pin. If received data is a character, A, it will turn on an LED, which is connected with the D7 pin of Arduino, and also print this message on the Arduino serial monitor, along with, LED is on, string. If data received is other than character A, LED will turn off, and Arduino displays LED is off character on the serial monitor. Now make the connections with TM4C123 Tiva Launchpad and Arduino according to this connection diagram. In this example, Tiva Launchpad will act as a transmitter and Arduino as a receiver. Now upload Arduino code to Arduino Uno and TM4C123 code to Tiva Launchpad using Arduino IDE and Kyle Uvision respectively. Now open the Arduino serial monitor.
After that click on the reset button of the TM4C123 TIVA launchpad. You will notice that the LED, which is connected with the D7 pin of the Arduino, turns on and off with a 1 second delay. Also, you can see the data received from TM4C123 on the serial monitor.